All right, Yuckmouth, how's it going? Man, good to be here, man. Thanks for having me, Cam Capone, man. I've been, you know, I'm a fan of your shit, man, period. No disrespect, but yo, your interviews be so deep and so dope, you know what I mean? And you do like dope content that a lot of people don't do. A lot of people just sit in front of their computer at home, in front of their iPad or they, you know what I mean, phone. You really go out there and do your due diligence. You get the top people, you know what I mean, from all walks of life. So definitely, I'm a fan of your shit, man, period. Well, thank you, man. Thank you, man. I, you know, same here. You know what I'm saying? I've been, I've been listening to you for, you know, since I got five on it. Uh oh <laughs> Thank you, sir. You know? So, yeah, man. Uh, well, let's get into it. You're from East Oakland. Yes, East Oakland, man, the Ville. You know what I mean? Six five Ville. Um, but it's two projects connected. It's one uh, one uh, neighborhood, so 69th and the 65th. But um, I'm from the 65, 65th, 6500 block. And um, yeah, East Oakland, man. Born and raised. Um, yeah, and and just all the drama. You know what I mean? Projects. Uh, you know, struggling. You know what I mean? Welfare, Section 8, food stamps. You know what I mean? Living family to family, home to home. You know what I mean? It takes a village to raise me. You know what I mean? So. You live with your grandma, you live with your uncle, you live with your sister, your auntie, everybody, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it happens in, you know what I mean, the projects, the ghetto, you know what I mean, in all walks of life, you know what I mean? Not just Oakland, but, yeah, it, it took the family to raise me, period. And, you know, that's what, what happened in the streets, you know what I mean? Okay, so you had a lot of people around you that were that supported you, it yeah. sounds like. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, it happens, you know what I mean? Like, when you got your mom battling alcoholism, you got your dad in and out of jail, you know what I mean, from doing his street shit, you know what I mean? Everybody got to step up, you know what I mean? Just shout out to the grandmas, you know what I mean? The grandma always held us down. Like, even the, the uncles that got out of pocket and, and fell off, you know what I mean? They fresh out of jail, they could always go to their mama house, which was my grandma, you know what I mean? Same with the grandkids, you know what I mean? The auntie or the daughter that can't take care of her kid, the, the mama will, which is the grandma, you know what I mean? So thank God for them grandmothers that raised us and uh, showed us that love when, when uh, the moms couldn't do it or the dad couldn't do it, you know? Man, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Well, uh, you know, what were you like in high school? Ah, shit, man. Um, junior high school, um, that's when um, I got to the money. I was um, out hustling, you know what I mean? So. Um, yeah, I was a fly guy in junior high school, man. Um, still drawn. I was a cartoonist, drawn and shit. Um, still loving to do music, you know what I mean? I used to play the drums, the, the bass drum and the, the snare drum and uh, the trumpet. But I wasn't doing rap, like super rap, you know what I mean, until I met Numb in junior high school, and that's when I started really rapping. Was he from your same area too? Nah, he ain't from my area. He's from a different part of Oakland, but um, um we went to the school when I moved with my uncle and my sister, it was by Lake Merritt. So Lake Merritt had a school called Westlake. You know what I mean? And we all went there. Numb, me, um, Kevin Choice, which, you know, become like one of the dopest pianists in the game, playing for everybody, like doing concerts and tours and, you know, big shit. So um the uh, the Who Riders, Chop Black and um uh, Mr uh Mr um Mr. Taylor, they was in school with us. So it's a lot of rap groups that came oh, Rap and Run, can't forget Rap and Run, the legendary Rap and Run went to our junior high school. So it was a lot of dope ass rappers in our junior high school and we used to rap at lunchtime, had a little baby talent shows, like literally every fucking lunchtime, man. Yeah, that that was the move. So yeah, Westlake Junior High, you know what I mean? A lot of people came from there. That's that that was solidified in um, the industry from the Bay Area. And high school? Junior high. This what is like the eighth grade, seventh, eighth, ninth grade. This is junior high. And what was going on in high school? High school is when we're chasing the hieroglyphics. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, like they, they, um, they came out, 93 till, and they were young. You know what I mean? We knew what high school they went to. They went to a prestigious high school in Oakland called Skyline. That's where all the rich people live in the hills and shit. That's like Beverly Hills or something. So you had to have money to go to that school. So they all went to the rich prestigious school. And uh, yeah, we will fucking cut school and catch the bus for their lunchtime to try to find these motherfuckers and battle because when you battle a motherfucker, you make your name in the streets. You know what I mean? So we trying to battle and make our name in the streets, you know what I mean? Find the hieroglyphics. We down to, um, in Berkeley, 
it was um, this area on Telegraph by Blondie's, you know what I mean, by the Blondie's Pizza, and everybody from the Bay Area, we just come over there, you had freestyle ciphers and shit, so we just trying to make a name, you know what I mean, me and them, you know what I mean, just trying to make a name in the game at that time, so um, we both in the streets, you know, really hustling, you know what I mean, doing our thing, so that's the, the main thing, the main component, you know what I mean, really hustling, but um, hustling led to me going to jail, you know what I mean? And that jail term led to, it was the beginning of the loonies. You know what I mean? Period. You got too much time to think. Um, I had a year in juvenile, in uh, Los Aros camp. And that was just like junior high school. It was another just a rap fucking alumni type of situation. We had a uh, demo, you know, from the Get Low Players, uh, JT, the bigger figure, one of his artists, he was locked up with me. And uh, when you're in camp, you get to go home on the weekends. You know what I mean? Like when you get later into your sentence, you know what I mean? You get to go home. When you start your sentence, you don't. So I was just there on the beginning. So Demo would get to go home every weekend. He'd come back and he'd come back with all the latest raps, all the latest clothes, all this shit. You know what I mean? So he had the song called Cancer Stick. It was about not smoking cigarettes. It was a positive song. And um, they had this motherfucker doing like a tour in juvenile hall. Like going from pod to pod, camp to camp, unit to unit, singing this positive song about not smoking cigarettes called Cancer Stick. Huge. Everybody knew it word for word. And I'm like, okay, I rap too. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I, you know, I hustled, you know, definitely, but I know how to do what he's doing. So, you know, from what me and Numb and was doing in junior high school and shit. So I'm like, okay, let me put the pen to the pad. And um, that's when I wrote the Ice Cream Man. You know what I mean? I'm saying all that to say this because that same song that I wrote in Juvenile is a song that will get us our record deal, me and them our record deal. So I write that song. Um, I come with the whole the whole group name. You know what I mean? Me and them, them had a group called Brothers With Potential. That was our group in junior high school. His name was The, the Skinny One. My name was E. Flo. So when I was in uh, camp, I'm like, okay, I want to come with a different group. You know what I mean? Let's come with a group called the Looney Tunes. And we're going to be the wacko, crazy gangster side of hip hop. You know, funny, you know what I mean? Comedy, but still street shit. Came with the condom man, you know, drew this. You know what I mean? This is a motherfucker. I drew this too, but drew the piece. You know what I mean? Uh, drew the condom man, drew the logo, the font and all that. And um, started writing songs. So when I got out, I approached Numb with the idea like, yo, um, I came with an idea, let's call the group the Looney Tunes, you know what I mean? I'm Yuck Mouth, I got the crazy ass mouth. Your name gonna be Numbskull, you, you crazy your brain, you know what I mean? Crazy ass, you know what I mean? You're a numbskull, you're the knucklehead, you know what I mean? You don't give a fuck. With a crazy mouth and knucklehead, we loony, you know what I mean? It's the skull, you know what I mean? So, um, gave him that approach and sung the Ice Cream Man to him, you know what I mean? He loved it, and he was like, yeah, let's do it, you know what I mean? So. Um, it didn't just happen overnight. We were still in the streets doing our thing. And the street, being in the streets is what led to us getting our deal. It was a, um, we basically, long story short, we turned the dope deal into a record deal. You know what I mean? So um, it was a drought. Me and them, we, we pitched in some money to go get some work. And um, we had to trap with the dude that's giving us the work. And we ran it up or whatever, cashing out. And at the trap is a dude that fucking be in two short videos. We like, oh, that's Baby Jesus. And we like, yo, Baby Jesus. He like, yeah, man, what's up? We like, you know Too Short? He like, yeah, that's my nigga. We like, man, fuck all this, we rap. <laughs> nigga, uh, we really rap. You know, tell niggas hypey, man, we rap, nigga. What you talking about? Fuck all this, we rap. He like, all right, my nigga, bust something. So none been having nothing written right then. So I, I get up and bust the ice cream, man. And um, after that, he was like, yo, man, um, I got my own record label, C No Records. Um, I got an artist named Drew Down. And um, I want y'all to come to the studio tonight, um, tomorrow and, and come meet up with Drew Down. And, um, yeah, let's see if y'all vibe and click. So um, we went to the studio the next day. And that's where I had the uh, legendary uh, battle with Rap and Run. You know what I mean? A dude from our junior high school. Now he signed the Too Short at this time with a group called Bad Influence, him and uh, Aunt Dilly. You know what I mean? So they kicking up dust and Ron is on a fucking steroid level at this time. I'm not knowing. 
Cause that when we was in junior high school, me and Rap and Ron wasn't the dope niggas. It was like, no, I mean all the other niggas, they was the dope. They took this shit serious. We wasn't dope like that. Me and Rap and Ron definitely wasn't the dope, dopest niggas, but we was rapping. And I'm thinking like, if this that nigga that was still in junior high school, I got him. I got him, cause I'm hella dope right now. And it, I know he looking at me like, oh, not the wackest nigga in the group. I'm gonna kill this nigga. So, <laughs> so um, it's a three, it's a three on one. You know what I mean? It's Rapper Ryan and Dilly Dog, and it, it's uh, Eclipse, who I later found out found out was my cousin through marriage. You know what I mean? Later on in life, but um, I'm battling three dudes. So, take out E, take out Aunt Dilly, and it's just me and Rapper Ron going back to back. Um, rapper Ron is a master freestyler. You know what I mean? Like back then we were saying riddance. You know what I mean? Written, written rap. So we all going back to back with riddance. Rapper Ron was rapping about everything in the fucking room. So we got guitars and shit. Yo, woo, woo. Shorty B playing the guitar. Aunt Banks on the move. Like he naming all the people. Spice One got the, like all the motherfuckers that's in the room. He naming them and naming the clothes they got on and this, that, and the third. And the whole battle was whoever lost. Got to buy some pizza for the whole studio. So rapper Ron ends it with a line like, "Yeah, man, CNA's man, go roll some more reefer. Matter of fact, you lost. Go buy some motherfucking pizza." Everybody, like, ah! Because <laughs> the bet was about the fucking pizza. You know what I mean? Some motherfuckers went crazy. I, <laughs> so I lost. <laughs> so everybody seen that, and I just say the ice cream man. I was saving that because I knew that song was so dope that somebody would have stole it. I'm in here with the peers. The, these dudes are signed. I'm at Dangerous Studios at the at the shit in West Oakland. Too Short at a West Oakland studio where they do all they shit, two-story joint. I'm there. It's Too Short, Ant Banks, Shorty B, all the, everybody, all the rappers, everybody there. Rich, everybody's there. Richie Rich. All these Spice people are one. there. Spice, everybody's there. And so I'm all like, them watched you battle? All, all of them are there. Everybody's here. So I'm like, I can't bust that ice cream, man. If I do, somebody's going to steal it. Mm. And sure enough, it wasn't the people in the room. It ended up being somebody else that we'll talk about later on. But 